Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to Russ Can't Fly. guess where I am? I am back home at Wings Field! And guess what they're doing, man? They're buying new aircraft. I can't believe it. So one of them is right back here behind me. It's a Piper. It's a low wing. I don't know a lot about it, but I'm with a couple fellas. I don't know if they want to be in the video or not, but suffice it to say, we're going to crawl around this thing, see what's going on. And then at some point I'm going to Google and get all the, you know, all the statistics and all that kind of stuff. But for now, here it is. So let's do a quick walk around. As you can see, this is a Piper PA something, 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 something. And one of the things that's kind of interesting is I think this is like a 2000, like 20, 22, something like that. But the one thing that's cool is you got this Hershey bar ring and you've got you know led lighting this is awesome i gotta start flying this thing this thing is absolutely amazing and so just walking around the outside and oh my gosh paint scheme is beautiful man that is like really really interesting and so yeah so this is fly gateway's new fleet and apparently they're going to be buying more of these types of aircraft um and just an amazing amazing bird and again i don't have all of the statistics yet but as you can see man i just those leds are killing me but just an amazing amazing aircraft um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on in and um look at the avionics fire it up take a look and see uh see what we got going on all right, so before I even get in, I got to show you this. Look at this. Look at these tires. No ball spots, no cracking. I mean, I've never seen, I mean, you know, this is crazy that I'm getting excited about tires. Look at how clean that is. I've never seen that. Even like when it's new, because you like the landing gear is usually a little older. So, but yeah, even the tires are great. And um, all the connections and the linkages. You know, now the one thing I'm going to have to get used to um, is this stepping up, you know, to get into the airplane. Uh, but it is just so crazy. And ELT, panels, never seen any of this kind of stuff. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So ELT, Tannen, look like the comms there. Um, so I'm going to go on up and... Um, this is definitely what I'm <laughs> different. So I'm standing on where I'm supposed to be standing on on the wing. So I don't want anybody to get crazy. Uh, but this is how you open this door release, and then the handle here. Oh! Now what's really interesting is that, and I'm gonna let this other brother get in here, um, and we'll do some more. But I noticed that there's one. I guess PFD. So one of the things I will say is I don't know much about, you know, glass panels. So there's a lot going on here that I don't understand. Um, but remember that 182 I flew, it had two and something like a PFD and an MFD was here. So I guess this can all, you know, do the same thing. But um, I'm gonna let the other brother get in and then, you know, we'll do some, some other look in here. But one of the things I find fascinating is that this plane is a three seater. So there's one seat here in the back um, and two seats here in the front. And let's see, uh, just trying to look at some of the stuff. I'm gonna have to look at the POH just to kind of see, you know, some of the other statistics or whatever, but I can actually smell new plane new airplane smell like what's that all about all right so i'm gonna let the other brother in and then we're gonna fire up the avionics and see what this thing looks like that's yeah so and that's what i was trying to figure out gauges. yeah <laughs> <laughs> my steam gauges. This all is right beautiful all right so let's turn the battery 
Oh, let's check that out. You gotta pull it out. Yeah, you gotta pull it out. out. Yeah. <laughs> check that out. So I remember the G5. Mm -hmm. I've flown with those. This is the PFD databases. So I know you always got to do this. Continue. Yep. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Spoiled. These, this is crazy. These students are going to be spoiled. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so here down here, you've got your circuit breakers. And um, the thing that I really like is I've never seen this like little ELT, which you can test. Um, I mean, I've never seen that. Like that's that's something that I've never seen on the panel. And let's see, maintenance and billing Hobbs. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? But what is that 19.2? Yeah. 19 and then that's 13, 19.2. Crazy! Um, and so then it has a, um, I know nothing about this. I have never used a um, <clears throat> autopilot. So don't know anything about this. Of course, all your normal foot controls in terms of the rudder pedals. And then fuel. Now that's one thing I'm gonna have to get used to because in all of the Cessnas that I fly, it's left, right, both. This one, you have to switch from left tank to right tank um, as you're flying. So you kind of have to do some of that kind of stuff. Some folks set timers <laughs> for that too. Okay. So, because there's a student that just crashed not too long ago. Um, nothing was wrong with the airplane. He just drained out the entire tank he was in and forgot to switch it to the other tank. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So it's important to at least set a timer every like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, let's switch the tank. So yeah. It keeps the plane balanced um, laterally as well. Interesting. And what's really interesting too, is I see down here, it looks like there's rudder trim, um, which is kind of interesting. I've never used that. I know Quebec Sierra has rudder trim, but I never used to use it. Um, and then to your you know, throttle and then your mixture. Um, now I see that this doesn't have a constant speed prop, which is cool. Uh, Cause I don't need that in my life either. Um, but yeah, so, this is kind of the um, the inside. The thing too, if you're used to Cessna with the flaps, the so flaps are mechanical. Mm -hmm. Then a piper is like a parking brake. It's right here. Oh. So you want to put the flaps down like you're doing your uh, pre-flight checks. There you go. Oh wow! It's okay. All mechanical. So you can kind of control, and you'll feel that as you pull in the flaps when you're in the air. Oh, I like that. Yep. I like that because I did have a situation one time where the flaps got stuck. Oh. And they were electric and they, you know, so I couldn't go Ooh. up, you know, so. That's squirrely. So yeah, so this is the inside with the avionics and, you know, I will say that, you know, there's pretty good room. Like we have some good shoulder room between the two of us. I do feel it a little more narrow on this side of me. So I can feel that this is a little bit more narrow. Um, the sight picture is a little different from what I'm used to. This just seems to be higher, but it just could be the way I have the seat. Um, but I definitely will say that the windscreen, since it kind of goes down more, I guess because it's a little bit more aerodynamic than what I'm used to in the Cessnas, it definitely is a very different, you know, sight picture. But, you know, new airplane. But yeah, I mean, this thing is, <laughs> this thing is sweet. So... I don't know what else to say, but you know, I'll definitely pull some stuff out of the book on the back end. Um, but here, just one real quick. So the yoke, you know, it's got electric trim. You saw when I flew that 182, that was the first time I used that. I got used to that real quick and liked it. Um, I guess the trim wheel is down here. Um, so either way, but in that 182, the trim wheel was like way down here. So the electric trim definitely made all the difference in the world um and yeah i mean and all of these buttons are so different like this engine start just like push to start and all of these switches that basically are pull out and push down or you know except for the pedo heat fuel pump that kind of stuff those seem to just be regular toggle switches um but the thing about it is it's clean it's really basic i mean an air vent that looks like, you know, you turn it, you position it rather than that 
tuba thing that always came out in your hand and was crazy. Um, so yeah, so that's the inside. Something like this. <laughs> All right, so now I'm in that third back seat. And so I have seated the controls. Fly me to the Bahamas, let's go. Um, but one of the things I will say is that, so it is definitely tight back here. Um, one of the things that's definitely going on is that when we came in, we put the seats all the way back. So there definitely be, so you can see my left leg, I have plenty of room here. It's definitely a little tighter here. You can hear the controls are like, still like rubbing, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, and there's your, um, headphones, jack back here, um, aircraft registration. Oh, this is. So is this crazy or what? That's why I had to come take a look. That's why I was like, when I saw you, I'm like, you want to come hang? Yeah. Cause this is like, yeah, you know, hang. we got to have to come see it. Cause I knew this is what I was coming to do. Vents down here too. Yeah. And see, I really love those air vents. Like it's just so easy. And it just turns. So you turn it open, close, open, close. See that? Cabin heat and all that. Yeah. The circuit breakers are really clear and easily defined. This is just so nice. I can't wait to get in this daggone thing and fly it. So let me, um, while I'm here, let's look at the POH. Uh, So let's do some basic stuff here. So this is a this is a Piper PA twenty eight one eighty one. That is the 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 title or type of this uh, Piper aircraft. All right, so we've pulled out a checklist, and one of the things I'm noticing is that there's a PA twenty eight one sixty one not to be confused with the PA-28181, which is what this aircraft is. So it looks like for the PA-181, maximum ramp weight is 2550, which is interesting, same as a lot of the Cessnas I've been flying. Um, maximum badge compartment, which, you know, I'm pretty much sitting in is 200 pounds. So query as to whether or not I'd be able to sit back here. Fuel capacity is 50 gallons. Um, usable fuel is 48 gallons. Um, oil capacity is 68. Um, and then demonstrated crosswind component, which is really interesting, is 17 knots. Most of the Cessnas that I've flown are 15. So mm -hmm. looks like it's like a higher um, crosswind component. Um, v and &E, so let's talk about some V speeds. V and &E, uh, 154, VNO, 125, um, VA at 2550 is 113, um, VSO, 49, VS, 55, so VX, 64, and VY, 76, which is also best glide. Um, and then flap extension, which is interesting because since you got that, you can't really see like I'm used to on a steam gauge. So it looks like you're about 102 um, for your flap operating speeds. So approach speeds, definitely faster than what I'm used to. Downwind, 90 knots. Base, 85 to 80. And then final, 70 to 75, which is pretty much, and then short final 65. So that's, now what's interesting, 40 degrees of flaps in this plane, which I did not know. I've seen it a couple times in some Cessnas, um, but um, you know, not too often. It's usually just 30, um, 30 degrees. So that's pretty much the V-speeds for this airplane. And um, yeah, it is, uh, <laughs> It's just nice. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I'm telling you, it would be really, I, it's just sitting here. It's just sitting here. It's just sitting here. So in conclusion, this is just an amazing airplane. And um, as you can well, as you can, you know, as you can well imagine, I need to get my hands on this thing. So that's my little special Wednesday edition of Ruskin Fly. Um, 
hopefully sometime in the near future you will be seeing me in this aircraft um just an amazing amazing machine and to be in a brand new aircraft are you I mean, are you serious wings thank you so much <laughs> so i will be getting on the schedule shortly to be start flying this thing all right with that russ kid russ can fly special wednesday edition i'm out peace